My name is PJ Lane and it's an absolute honour to be invited here today to Stanley Park to help with Helping Hands who are a great bunch of people all get together and do certain things within the community. The title of this afternoon is Laughter in the Park. Very well here, ladies and gentlemen, just bear with us because of the sun. <laughs> Hello, so that was the right guy called Mr. Dean Thank you, Thanks, The point of today is for members of our community to enjoy themselves, to relax, be waited on and to have fun, hence laughter in the park. We are delivering a pilot project called Helping Hands across some of our wards that offers a service to our older people that gets to the heart of what they want. Our aim is to support the most vulnerable and reduce loneliness and isolation. Working with our willing partners, asking who does care in our community? Well, we all care. Nothing is quite as pretty as Mary in the morning. When through that sleepy haze, I'll see her lying there. Uh, because our charity looks after mainly older people, um, our sort of clientele and service users are all 60 plus some of them I mean recently we lost a lady who was 102 so it's a great wide age range so Jackie does a lot comes in involves our pensioners with all their projects any functions events anything like that that Jackie's doing she'll always involve the League of Well Doers uh, today for instance there's a table and uh, we've got 10 of our pensioners all here you know one of the group are going here Street with got the invitations and Gerard Woodhouse as the mayoral lead for the elderly was organising it and knowing Gerard he always puts on good events and we all said yeah we'd come. My name is Councillor Gerard Woodhouse and although I'm councillor for the county ward I'm also mayoral lead for older people. So I've come along today to tell you about what I have achieved and talk to you about what we can all do to help deliver a city in which is good to grow old in. As you all know, our communities are getting older and our resources to provide support to older people is getting smaller. 75,000 Liverpudlians are over 65 and that is increasing at about 2% each year. Okay, today's projects come out from four wards who have pooled some funds and through um, our neighbourhood funds to do a day for older people. Older people are really important to this city um, and, and as, as lead member for older people um, I, I've been involved in organising this. The average age of a male in the city 15 years ago was something like 68, it's now gone up to 76 or 77, so people are living uh, a lot longer, you know, and people are still, you know, just because they get to pensionable age doesn't mean that their life uh, is over, you know, um, so the Beautiful North gives opportunities to people, particularly the elder members of the community, to access different kinds of events, you know, which include coming to the games at Everton, um, doing different bingo events, coming to events like this, so I think it's it's really important that we do focus on our older members of our society, particularly in the city. What about my little Liverpool girl walked in the doctors with a walking stick and she walked in like that? And she come out like that? I said, by God, that's some doctor. What did he do? He said, give me a bigger walking stick. We hope you enjoyed yourselves tonight and we'd just like to start with a few words. First 
of all, thanks to Nikki Shaw for all the hard work and effort that she has put into the Young Creators to make it a su successful and ongoing process. I'm Liam Morton and I'm a Young Creator and I volunteer for the Kirkdale Award. I'm Anna Louise McCann and I also am a Young Creator for the Kirkdale Award. Um, I think it's a good experience to have when you volunteer um, because it's good to have on your CV that you've volunteered like when you want to go and get a job like it looks good on your CV. I also think that because you've had the experience and you definitely know what's going to happen and I just hope that everybody's got the point that we do need your help but at the same time it's been a wonderful experience and we thank everybody for the experience that we've had. The volunteers, um, we've got some care staff, um, we've got volunteers from Everton in the community, uh, Everton Football Club, um, some scheme managers have volunteered, um, and some um, local kids from the area, Walton um, Field area, a lot of the kids there. My own daughter's volunteered for me today, my nephew, so they've all spent, took their free time to come and help out today. Everyone's friendly, the young ones looking after us are really good. Just because we're all getting a bit older doesn't mean we haven't got things to give. Um, I think there was perhaps a view in the partners around the beautiful north that older people were people who needed things rather than old people are people who have things to contribute. And just looking at all you've done both today but also through the Helping Hands project, actually you're the people who are kind of keeping this end of the city together, you support each other, you support the younger people as well as the younger creators supporting you. So really I'd say thank you to you, not just for coming today but for all you do out there in the community. It is really appreciated by us and the other partners that I'm representing today. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. 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 Come on